It was a new beginning. A chance to build a better future. After the war, I wasn't sure we could learn to trust. Some wanted revenge. But we kept Negan alive. And somehow he escaped. We lost friends we loved. My true love. But even now, six years later, his hopes for the future live on. Our splintered communities must now reunite to face a brutal enemy who walk with the dead. Keep them together and whisper. Welcome to Knockbro Nation. Welcome back, guys. I'm Drell. And I'm Josh. And today we have some exciting Walking Dead Season 9B additional photos of what appears to be episodes 9 through 13. Yes, so I'll leave the link in the description. That comes from skybound.com. And in the description of those pictures, it shows each picture and what title of the episode or the episode title is. And they're episodes 9 through 13. Yeah. Very cool. Um, we're just going to run through these. Uh, like I said, I'll leave the link in the description and we'll show these a little bit later. In the video. Yeah, we're going to go through some of them kind of quicker than others because we have talked about a lot of these, especially right. in the mm -hmm. first episode, which is called adaption yep. um and as you can see we've already talked about these these are pictures from the from the graveyard um not too much to go off of here um again they're battling the whispers uh death of jesus we've talked about this too this is luke and alton on oh, yeah. um i don't know what they're out for yeah it's i mean like we see this arrow on the tree again and i'm, I'm assuming it's probably another marker but I, I i don't know i mean they we see another shot of them uh, in the woods holding the, you know, he's holding these arrows. Mm -hmm. So it's just some type of marker. You know, and I think this is what leads them into the woods in the first counter with Alpha. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also I think that this is, maybe they were drawn out because it's been a while since Daryl and crew have come back. Um, so they might just be going out to get a status or right. try and find them. True. Yeah. Um, so Daryl at the bridge, um, you guys have seen that in the sneak peek yep. that we already did. So, uh, we know what's going to be happening there. This one's very interesting. This was interesting, yeah. So we yeah. did get a sneak peek of Negan actually in the Rick Grimes house at night. In this, I think this is it because he's wearing the same clothes. Th he is wearing the same clothes. And that's yeah. kind of why I wanted to stop at this one is because he's roaming Alexandria on the loose. Yeah. And from that sneak peek, he goes into Rick and Michonne's house. He actually goes up into Judith's room and actually sees one of those drawings that she made where i think it says like this is my family and she's you know drawn each person she's drawn our family members so i who knows he's probably searching for lucille you know i don't think he's looking to hurt anybody i think he's just looking for lucille yeah so, i don't think he's there to hurt anyone either no. and, um yeah but, it'll be very interesting because we don't know much about negan we did a video on negan we really truly do not know negan's mental state at this point right exactly uh, so quick shot of Tara. I think this is probably, you know, Tara, the next one shows Tan uh, her and Tammy talking. This is probably uh, after Jesus' funeral or at Jesus' funeral. Or them bringing Jesus in. Right. Um, um, Tammy may be asking, when are they going to let Henry out of jail? Don't know. Um, this so is obviously, this is the funeral. This of, looks like the funeral. Yeah. yeah. So they're, they're mourning the death of their leader. All right. We do see Henry in jail. Um He's probably talking with Lydia. <laughs> or this almost looks like he's looking to someone walking in. So maybe this is first when Lydia gets brought into the cell. Right. Or someone else coming to talk to him. Or Daryl showing up. Or Daryl showing up. Uh, now, I'm not sure. This either could be him going down into the cell where Henry is. Or... I don't know, no, because like, Negan's is upstairs. Well, no, Negan's is in the in a basement, but not like that. Negan's is in Alexandria. Yeah, yeah. So, and I don't think Daryl is in yeah, Alexandria. No, no I think this is this is the this Lydia. Is the yep. Yeah. So, uh, shot of Magna, uh, Eugene. This uh, and dude, tell me right now that does not look like Rick comic Grimes. book readers. Comic book readers. That is Rick Grimes. That is Rick Grimes <laughs> right there. Yeah. <laughs> It's almost like it's so bad. It's almost like the uh, Angela Kang and the and the producers are like, yeah, we know that we we messed up and we we couldn't get you, Rick, but here's someone that looked exactly like his comic book counterpart. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> love it though. Magda and Yumiko. I can't. I, I'm honestly, I can't wait to see the growth of their characters. Yeah, um, because they're really good characters. Especially Magna. Yeah, it's gonna be really interesting to see. So, 
So we get to episode 10, uh, which is titled Omega. Uh, we get a dark scene of Connie, uh, Yumiko, Magna, Yumiko, Magna and um, Kelly um, at night discussing whatever. Um, the next shot, we've seen this shot in a couple promos, and this, we believe, is when Alpha comes to the hilltop. So from what this picture is telling us is that's not going to happen until episode 10, yep. um, which is why it's called Omega, possibly. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. Yeah. Um, that was it. I think, episode 10. I think episode 10 possibly even ends with them showing up at the hilltop. Mm -hmm. um, I think that we're going to get this whole episode of them in the woods and Luke and Alton running into them. And then as they make their way to um, uh, the hilltop, uh, it, it's Alpha revealing herself. And I think Alton and Luke are probably going to be... Uh, might even tell Alpha that they have Lydia. Right. Yeah. That's where Alpha's going to find out where Lydia's at. All right. So episode 11, uh, we do not know the title yet, but this first shot is interesting. So this kind of goes along with the one shot of them. Remember they were riding with the car, like they were riding in their wagons mm -hmm. and Carol was like carrying something. It kind of seems similar to where they are in this, wherever the city or town is, don't know where, but they seem to be off doing something ezekiel does have a smile on his face so i don't really know what they're doing ezekiel has a smile on his face but when is ezekiel not smiling it's true <laughs> <laughs> and then i smile yeah uh, -huh. uh so carol obviously has a worried look on her face now this does possibly line up with the 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 shots of carol and the rest of the kingdomers shooting their arrows so mm -hmm. and it was at night when that happened mm -hmm. so i'm guessing somehow they're they're out mm -hmm. they're somehow. trying to scavenge uh, and they they run into trouble, and they have to stay the night somewhere, and possibly might run into a group of whispers. Yeah. So Jerry is uh, looking at a I don't know some enclosure full of walkers, and he's safe for now. So, yeah. Yeah. Not too bad. Uh, Daryl outside the hilltop. I, this shot kind of seems like he's out talking with Alpha, or oh, like maybe they're dude. leaving, and he's just standing there watching them leave. Yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty cool. Now that is a worrying this, shot right this there. Is, this is my favorite one because it's almost like you're a first person view look at Alpha. So you are Alpha looking in at. Right. She's not going to be that top. close, but you get who the knows? idea. Well, I don't. Who knows? Maybe she, Daryl allows her to walk up so far and then they're all standing there like, what the hell? Because <laughs> Enid looks frightened. Tara looks worried. Magna just has the badass look on her face like oh, she yeah. always does. Yeah. Like she's like, I want to kill you. Um, the hair all over one mm -hmm. eye. I love it. Uh, the rest of uh, Henry's out. So Henry must get out in episode 11. Um, we'll see. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to wonder, is Lydia still in prison? I I'm guessing so. Probably. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So episode 12. Um, yeah. Yeah. Getting some good stuff. Michonne. Kind of a shot of Michonne. Now, I, I asked this to Jarrell. I don't necessarily think that this is the case, but whose ring is that? Um, is that Rick's wedding ring? Yeah, I can't remember. Like, Let us know. As in Lori's ring that he gave Rick. Correct. And I don't, and I don't know if Rick and Michonne, I, I could have sworn they kind of got maybe engaged. I don't we think didn't they did. see it. But and I don't remember. you and I talked about this. There was that talk of, of it was kind of a comedic talk of a honeymoon when they were having a candlelight dinner, when mm -hmm. they ran into that that circus and they found that food um, and they were kind of joking around like, you know, this isn't our honeymoon. We'll have to go on a honeymoon, assuming right. that they do get married. But did they ever get married? I don't think I don't think so. So kind of like Michonne telling Sadiq, um, this is how we Alexandria survives is like, you know, being in uh the being, stay, staying being, indoors being a, in a in a community again right being in a right? community again yeah. yeah so who knows uh father g and eugene um you get a couple of shots of them and it yeah. looks like they're planning something yeah um, map. we know that uh there was they they put the communication device on the tower mm -hmm. so we got to think that they're going to probably start planning radio communication and right. see if uh uh, their plan has to has to work out, and I think that's what they're working on here. Yep. So the last episode, episode thirteen, um, we've seen this shot numerous times. A couple in the trailers, they they look like they're heading somewhere in with haste. I should say <laughs> <laughs> with haste. I figured um, it out. What? Yeah. 
I, I think I figured it out. Um, Let's hear it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so um, they know about Alpha. Alpha has already made it to the hilltop. We, I think we've seen enough evidence of that. This is episode 13. Um, I think this is them traveling to the kingdom to let the kingdom know uh, of of the danger that is on every imminent, community's footsteps. Imminent danger. Yeah. yeah. So um, makes the, sense. Because the next shot we get is here's Carol all happy. Here's King Ezekiel standing at attention because someone must be walking in. And literally the next shot we get is Carol not so happy. And she's and she's looking Excuse at something. my computer. <laughs> and she's looking at something and it's kind of like a map. You can't really tell what it is, but it, it it's got something on there. And I'm not really sure what it is. Um, it would be interesting to know if it's maybe a map or maybe I got a, a note I got another idea. reading. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so we got a, a teaser of Alpha's voice. And in Alpha's voice, she says, you came to our lands. Mm -hmm. You crossed our our boundaries. Is that maybe marking out boundaries? Hmm. Maybe Tara and them come to the king and say, look, we've come across this group. They're very territorial. Things are not looking good because we crossed into said territories. That could be interesting. Yeah. Be careful. Because, Those markings, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that could be cool. I could be, I'd be down for that. So yes, I totally agree with that. I think that would, because I mean, the look on her face and whatever that note is. It's like imminent doom. Imminent doom. Impending like, <laughs> doom. Like, because I'm wondering if they're thinking, okay, we have outposts, you know, we have certain routes that we take to verify that, our, you know, our area is secure. Do any of those cross into their supposedly territory? And at what point, you know? They? And it, exactly. But we've known that we've, we're, we're led to believe the whispers have been watching this whole time. Yeah. And that they finally realize, oh, they crossed over, time to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I mean and, cool. and it doesn't look like that would be any type of boundary marking. Because honestly, it looks like, if you're looking at it the right way, it looks like a K. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a K. So, Something, I don't know. I, I don't know if, the, I mean, that would mark out any boundaries. But it's an interesting it's, theory. It's, it's definitely not a note that is welcoming because she doesn't look very happy. Yeah. Or, unless maybe... Like, we've seen that guy who's like, well, no, that was at the fair. So I was thinking maybe that was the guy who's like, seems to be infiltrating, and maybe he had that on him, and they're re looking at it like, you know, then they finally fi realize or figure out from Tara that, oh, these are whisperer people, and they were like, oh, we had some weird dude in here, and he had this note or something, I don't know. I'm speculating at this point. This is episode 13. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're not even episode 9 yet. We, we have to, just from all the evidence and all the trailers and all the shots that we've gotten... It seriously looks like the kingdom is just oblivious to what is going on with They're the hurting. whispers. They're hurting bad. Too. They have no idea about the whispers. Everyone else does. The Hilltop and Alexandria know because yep. they've confronted them. But now they, the kingdom has no idea. And guess what? There's a huge fair happening. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense now that the kingdom doesn't know. And what's going to happen at that fair completely makes sense because they have no idea what's going on. Yeah. And it's not going to turn out the way we think from the comics, but who knows how they're going to do it. But we'll save that for another. Yeah. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoy these photos. Once again, I'll put the link in the description so you can, ch so you can check them out. Uh, hope we didn't go too fast for you, but there were a lot. Yeah, and a lot of stuff we already saw. But yeah, yeah. Uh, let us know what you think of the video of the, of the photos. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm Josh. I'm Jarrell. We're not Bro Nation. We're out. We're out. <laughs>